Well, I can't think of any way to better support education in the community than for KCTS and PEMCO to align because we are totally members of the community and supportive of the community. PEMCO Insurance, a Northwest company, is proud to be a longtime supporter of the KCTS Golden Apple Awards that honor Washington's best teachers and programs, some of which are a lot like us, a little different. And here's the automated DNA sequencer. Leroy Hood is the guy who invented the supercomputer that made possible the Human Genome Project. He's the guy Bill Gates recruited to the UW to create a new biotech department. And he's the guy who left the U to start the research powerhouse Institute for Systems Biology. And I think we've really pioneered and transformed the way that one can really look at disease. So you might wonder. Today we're going to make observation investigation. Why would he bother with K through 12 education? Drop it in the water. You want to find the next Leroy Hood? No, I'd like to find about 50 uh, <laughs> Leroy Hoods, as a matter of fact. One of those next generation superstars just might be among these second graders learning about carbon dioxide. Or they might be among the fifth graders learning about variables. 25, 26, Ready? Oh, that's exactly three centimeters. The way to nurture their interest in science, Dr. Hood decided. Okay, so at 25, it went halfway. Is to nurture their teachers. So under the microscope, this is magnified only 10 times, but you can see a lot more clearly. Uh, so the Institute for Systems Biology oh, wow. partnered so with area school districts, bringing teachers together with research scientists for hands-on and online learning. You can tell that those cells are metabolizing the fatty acids. This is hard to admit, but I felt like I didn't even have the science background to teach fourth and fifth graders science. And I don't feel so intimidated teaching science anymore because of this. Scientists are usually interested in results. So what are the student achievement results that you're seeing with this program? Perhaps the most exciting thing we've seen is students from the minorities and the underrepresented have gained the most. Gained the most, that is, on standardized science tests. It's been really powerful. What's more, teachers say they've seen the difference in the classrooms. What do you have trapped in that bag? Yes, you have gas. That's the same sound I heard here. And so have the students. Cheers to science. Cheers, Cheers to, to science. science. Down the hatch, carbon dioxide. It's a, it's a huge privilege to accept this award on behalf of the Institute for Systems Biology and all of our wonderful partners. I was drawn to the Institute for Systems Biology because of its leadership and the way that they've been able to recognize that their scientific advancements really are changing our society and their complementary commitment not only to the education of future scientists but also to the development of a, a scientifically literate society. To achieve this educational commitment, the founders of ISB recruited a group of science educators who are now known as the Center for Inquiry Science at the Institute for Systems Biology. By strategically partnering the ISB with regional school districts over a period of time, the work for the Center for Inquiry Science has truly changed the course of science education in the Puget Sound region. It's my privilege to work on a daily basis with ISB's scientists as well as ISB's educators as we're all passionate about our students and their future. Thank you.